Assalamu alaikum students. This video will be the last, will cover the last part of the morphology chapter by going over the part of word formation in English. All the information on the coming slides are uh, taken from the article by Sari Kuban. It's a Turkish name. His article entitled Linguistics for English Language Teaching Studies. I will upload this article shortly on school day. But before we start for formation, there is one just one point I need to state, which is that uh, morphemes have many more characteristics than the ones that we covered in class, and the ones which we have uh, seen or learned about uh, on O's article. But we're not examining all of them for practical purposes. You know why? Because we are focusing on the implications about morphology or semantics or grammatics for English language teachers in our uh, EFL classrooms. For example, we're not using the technical notation of writing a morpheme. A morpheme should be written between two braces, like the word um, refilled here. If I want to put the morphemes of the refilled word, it will be re plus fill plus ed. Each one is between uh, two presses. Right. For additional notes, please check the handout that I have uploaded to School G, and you will be um, going over extra three notes about uh, morphology in general. Right. So the first type of word formation is the coin, which is not very common. It refers, it refers to creating entirely new words or terms in English. In, in a language which were previously non-existent, like these words, like Xerox, Band Aid, What's Happening, Google. Think of why this type of is not very common. Why do you think it's not very common? Second part of the types of word formation is the borrowing. The borrowing is taking over words from other languages and then add them to the language. It's one of the most common processes of word formation in English. Look at these words, algebra, yogurt, uh, croissant, bergamot, sofa, tattoo, tycoon, zebra, zebra, shish kebab. Did you know that these words are taken from these languages? That shish kebab actually entered the English language dictionary from Turkish, sofa from Arabic. Compounding is joining two or more separate words to produce a single form, like note and book, notebook, face and book, Facebook. Blending is not taking two words. Blending is taking two parts of separate words to combine and combine to form one word, like brunch, telecast, netiquette, edument, and emoticon. Brunch, breakfast, and lunch. Think of the other words. What were the first parts of these words? Two separate parts combined to form telecast, netiquette. Next is the clipping type. Look at fax, photo, and gas. Actually, these are one syllable words taken from or clip from more than one syllable words. So fax was actually faxily, facsimile, photo, gas was gasoline. Two or more syllables, then we clip them to form one syllable word in a shorter form. Yale states that the education environment loves this clipping, encourage the process of clipping. Look at this. The cap, gym, typo, for typing mistakes. Okay. Next is the conversion. When a word of one grammatical category becomes a word of another grammatical form without changing pronunciation, pronunciation or spelling, like the examples here, vacationing, chirp, and emailing. Forming abbreviations also is one type of 
uh, forming new words. People very quickly forget the origin of the abbreviation and they become, these abbreviations become new independent words in languages. DPT, ATM, NASA, and UNICEF. Mm, do you know what these acronyms stands for? Find out, please. The last type is the eponyms. Eponyms are words from personal names. Eponym and eponym <clears throat> is um, actually, sorry, excuse me. An eponym denotes the name of an object or activity, which is also the, the name of the person who first created the object or did the activity. It refers to the word formation in which a new word is formed from a proper name. Sandwich. Jeans, Robert, and Jumbo. Do you know where or from where did these words come from? I didn't till very recent. Sandwich entered the English language dictionary in the 18th century um, by Earl of Sandwich, who first insisted on putting his meat between two slices of bread while gambling. The word jeans actually um, came from the Italian city of Genoa where the type of cloth was first made, jeans. Jumbo, it's from, uh, it's after an elephant which was brought to United States. Also robot, it is named after the mechanical creatures in a play by a Zig writer. Right? Okay, that's it.